Let's see. Who do you think WWE was teasing playing White Rabbit by Jefferson Airplane during a commercial break on SmackDown? I hope it's Jefferson Airplane. Hunter S. Thompson. No. That would no. be unlikely. Probably uh, Bray Wyatt would be my guess. Because I think they also, uh, when they played that uh, music, they also uh, turned on the red light. More like fucking Sting. light gimmicks. Like Roxanne. Christ. Anything else? Yeah, what's going to happen if Bray Wyatt comes back with a red light? But then he f- faces Karrion Cross, who's only in black and white. What the fuck happens then? Well, the universe will explode. We get a really cool. You think synth. anybody's thought about that? Of course not. We get a really cool Sin City looking uh, feel to the ring. Oh, good call. Yeah, there's already blood in every match then, but you, only the blood is in color. Yep. That would actually be great if they could make that work. <laughs> Who do you think will beat Jade Cargill? Doesn't feel like anyone is being built up for it, though it might be clue. Statlander, but she got injured. It might be Paisley at this point. I actually have... It could be Paisley. Actually, it would be more likely Hanalei. But I, I don't... Uh, <laughs> knowing the two of them, I see your point. Knowing the two of them, yes. We're going to have to wait another three years. Right now, nobody should beat her. What? Nobody should beat Jade right now. I don't know about that. There's. What's the point? Well, the point is, they're acknowledging on TV this is boring. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> if that's acknowledgement, if the storyline is she beats everyone, it's boring now. I mean, I kind of think maybe somebody should probably beat her or at least give her a fight. You know, that's fair. But I don't know who it's going to be. Right. All of the all of all of their top women, aside from Jade, are all fighting each other over the women's title. So the TBS title, she's becoming Wardlow. She goes out there every week. We got nobody really, nothing for her to do really. Just a holding pattern till God only knows when. And uh, now acknowledgement that this rain is boring. You never want to acknowledge that something is boring. Just ask Lance about this. His thoughts on saying things are boring. Let's see. Vinny, have you ever been skiing or snowboarding? How was the experience? So I uh, had skiing lessons in high school. Um, they were as disastrous as it could have been without serious injury. So <laughs> I get I, I head up there by myself. I get rented ski equipment to take the bus at the you know the pre dawn bus up to the mountains. And I get off the bus, and the instructions were you needed to buy a rope tow ticket. And the rope tow is you think you know the rope drags you up the mountain. You grab it. You're in skis. Get up there. Get the rope toe ticket and meet at this school place. So I get my rope toe ticket, and I thought this meant I was supposed to take the rope toe up the hill to where the classes were. Mm-mm. And I couldn't do this. I was too clumsy, you see. And so after about the sixth or seventh or eighth time being dragged up the rope, <laughs> dragged on my face up the rope the hill, up up the hill by the rope, I gave up. I went to the lodge. I played video games all afternoon. Hmm. We called the school back later. They explained what happened. But by now, I missed a day. So the whole class I was supposed to join, they're, all, they're, they're a whole day ahead of me now. So I don't think I ever actually went to a class. Um, I was able on more practice to use the rope toe and later the ski lift and was able to teach myself how to go. I can't even say skiing, but I could go down a hill on skis without crashing and dying. Uh, as long as it was perfectly flat. The single bump would put me on my ass immediately. Um, and the truth be told, once, once, once I got that, 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 that eight-year-old level of ability, I did kind of have fun. <laughs> and I'd, I've, I, would, I, would, I would do it again someday. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very clumsy, people. You don't understand. You don't understand what's I do. Like to be me. I wrestled you many times. You know exactly how clumsy yes. I am. Yes. Yes. Literally, do you guys know that Vince actually has two left feet? It's not even a figure of speech. He has a left foot on both feet. It's amazing. Yeah. Terrible deformity. Yeah, you know how many pairs of shoes he has to buy to make that work? At least double. Now, this person here says, would you rather them bring back old titles for WWE or introduce new, better ones? I prefer old school ones, but don't think they'll bring them back. Well, you worded the question incorrectly, old Kenny. Because your your question was, should they introduce new, better ones? Well, if the new ones are better, then obviously they should do those. So your question is actually, should they bring back the old designs, or should they work on some new designs? Here's my thoughts. 
We're talking belts, not titles. The, the actual championship belt, right? I think he's talking about the belts. Does he? Is he calling yeah. for a return of the European championship? Yeah. yeah. Here's here's the thing with belts, everybody. I know everyone knows that I love the Winged Eagle. Okay. And he never said anything. I'm not. I'm not one of those guys. It's like we must go back to the way things used to be and all that shit. But I do believe this. I do believe this. There are certain things in this world that are timeless. And there are other things that are fads, the fashion of the time, whatever. And sometimes you go back to fashions. Like, you know, I've seen guys with only mustaches lately, and I still, you know, I don't get it. But it's coming back. And, you know, I'm sure, you know, Paisley and Honolulu will probably go to school in bell bottoms someday for all I know. But my point. The Winged Eagle is a timeless fucking design, dude. Like, I don't see the bringing the, a belt like that back and people going, oh, they're stuck in the past. No, it's just bringing back a fucking timeless design. The fucking spinner belt is not a timeless design. No. That, that, was, a, that was a shit. That was shit from a certain era that was cool to some people in the moment, but you, no one wants a fucking spinner belt in 2022. And there are a lot of belts in wrestling history that are timeless designs, Okay. The uh, the old school WCW title from like 93, 94 that Vader had. It's round. It's got a fucking globe on it. You know, the winged eagle is round. It's got a fucking eagle on it. Even the one that Austin had, the the advanced winged eagle. It was round. It had a fucking eagle on it. You can use that forever. Some of this other shit, like those fucking penny belts they had for the tag team titles... Or the, the the pennies and the dimes, remember that? Yes. Fucking trash, okay? And, uh, you know, some of these other designs, I'm like, the fucking butterfly, the vagina belt that, of course, they gave to the women, fucking horrible. But, you know, there are certain designs that you could go back to, and it's not like you're living in the past. It's just, it's a timeless design. It's like fucking jeans, blue jeans, I mean, it doesn't matter how fucking old you are. Your great-grandchildren are going to wear fucking blue jeans. So, yes, bring back the goddamn Winged Eagle or something like that and get rid of some of this shit that we got now. I hate the current WWE titles. The ones that are a big fucking W and it's mostly the be the leather backing and there's all the fucking cubic zirconia or whatever. It's like that fucking thing is horrible looking. I got it. You want to brand it, but I don't need to see your fucking logo on the belts. That one will not age well. I don't see people reminiscing about that in 20 years. My only super strong opinion about any of this right now, given this, the belts they're using at this point, is that I think the uh, current intercontinental belt held by Gunther is pretty ugly. It's better than, than like the one uh, they had in like the 2000s. But when Cody Rhodes brought back that white strap belt and, it, and it had the same plates that like Macho Man had and Bret Hart had, that should be the Intercontinental title. Because that's a fucking timeless belt design. Yes. It's not a design that's ever going to go out of style. All I have is a few questions. Oh, good. My favorite. Is it duplex or suplex? Or is it both? A wrestling move where you <laughs> grab your opponent and throw him backwards through the air is a suplex. A housing complex with two homes built connected as a duplex yeah it's never been duplex granny but you've you've said this now for 15 okay, years so we just I, yeah let yeah. it let it go yeah. so i thought once and for all i want to know which it is so it's duplex and not suplex right no a it's, suplex it's is suplex a suplex and not duplex <laughs> oh okay <laughs> duplex is a housing development granny ulysses s grant's battle we, we, we definitely read these skip forward no, a few pages no no okay no. all right all right go ahead we didn't do that one okay yeah, this person says we did. This person says we did it. I protest. There must be two of them then. <laughs> I protest. <laughs> he wrote the same one twice. Yeah. I like this one about Grant so much. I'm going to put it in the book twice. I, I'm telling you, I wasn't back this time. Okay, far. fine. Read another one. Yeah, everyone's saying we read these last week, Granny. Big deal. <laughs> Who cares, but everybody? All the, but all the researchers today. Are you reading the book the wrong way? No. Okay. What do you think I am? I don't know. You keep saying you're going back. <laughs> Why would we go back when reading a book? We're supposed to go forward. Maybe what happens, Granny, is you put the bookmark in, and then when you open it to that page, you start reading the ones we already read. Maybe the bookmark should go on the next page. No. Okay. <laughs> what do they say in court? 
I object. I object! Objection, Your Honor! Yeah, that's right. I didn't read that again. Overruled, Granny, you did! <laughs> All right, anything else, Granny? You're guilty. <laughs> well... <laughs> Go to go to jail. Your okay. guilty was the high spot of the week. Oh, you shut I'll... me off. No, oh, you're right here. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. There was some weird rumbling going on. Like uh -oh. she, she's unplugging her own cord there. I think you unplugged the cord. I can't hear you. you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I I'll message you. I'll message you. I hear you now. Oh, now you do? Yeah, now I hear. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Ah! All right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.